In this lesson, I'm gonna create the most complex part of human body ear. So as a first glance, it looks very complicated. But if you break down this complex part to some basic chunks, it will be not that complicated. So the first, um, how I break down this, I break down into two main parts. First is this pipe, just, just think it like a pipe this area and then the this area it looks it's a pipe going here so first pipe is this one it's wide enough here i'm talking about this area whole this area and this part there so let's do that let's take a polygon pipe to mimic that let's say polygon pipe here yeah. and let's rotate it so that the side yes let's rotate that 90 degree and the height of our object okay i don't need so many divisions here right now so just Decrease that to 12 and go to the front view. Just position that. We don't want this thickness, so just decrease the thickness, uh, the height. Yes, and like this. And the thickness as well. Just create this pipe here. Like maybe this, yes. Scale it. And I just want these front faces, so I don't want the back faces. The select and delete all those faces from the behind. I don't want those faces. So let's start and and delete one of the face from here just break the continuity and just move all this and just try to create that shape just rotate meanwhile so that we get that angle proper just uh, if you find difficult to see the background image, just turn on X-ray here, or you can do that from here, X-ray. Just let me quickly line up all those things. There. So I was talking about this pipe. Just uh, yes don't have to be exactly perfect at this point just try to find that basic curve I need one here so let's put that so let's loop or that okay so Turn off X-ray. Looks okay. Then do the second second basic save. Just so select these two or maybe these three. Let's see. No, just select those two and extrude them. Go to edit mesh, extrude. These two extrude. Again, extrude press G, or you can extrude that from here again. Just continue extruding till the end. X ray, why is X ray? Yes, Just G. 
to repeat that action again rotate it scale just extrude with the matching number here extrude here move G extrude I stood there till here so let's, let me do that so if you follow this uh, process properly after once or twice uh, practice it will be much easier so uh, uh, for the first time it may feel like something very difficult but actually it's not that difficult if you follow this process exactly so this row will again merge here so let's go turn off let's select and merge this vertex merge to center and let's select these two and merge again press g or go one more center again so i need one is loop here to merge this so let's put that Insert as loop, add that here. Go to vertex mode, most to center. So we we kind of did this on the side view, so it's flat from this angle. But if you see, if you adjust the ear shape, this area is going like inside. So there is a twist. So let's do that so by moving this these points inside in this axis x axis and create that smooth transition like this so it's not flat okay so then we need to merge all this so I don't want to move these points so let's take the target weld tool and click and drag the first point will move to the second point and merged at the same time so it's like snapping and merging click and drag if I drag from here to here this point will move and merge there okay let's adjust some so in this lesson we are going to just create the front side of the ear and the next lesson I'll continue doing the back side and or I can take this one as well extrude and this time let's move those select carefully extrude move those inside okay and here I'll merge I merge these two just bring these two back and fill this area let's take the up and polygon tool up into polygon and click on this edge till this edge so it fills there and let's let's append this area as well so press y to bring that tool again click here and find as yeah yes then this is the matter of filling this area and this area just double click on this edge go to mesh and fill hole to fill that area and let's take the multi cut tool and you can see by filling that it filled with one face one n-sided face we cannot keep that face so let's take the multi cut and divide that and try to create quads let's put here to here and here to here press 3 to check it looks okay and I think I should merge this too let's see 
okay good then this area just select and extrude extrude those area and or you can just breeze this area and extrude all this area let's do that so go to append polygon tool and breeze this area let's breeze here to here so then let's breeze here to here let's, let's create a triangle there then just select the whole edge loop extrude everything and scale go to the side view you can see how gradually it's going inside then extrude again to take that more diff and don't just move that in x axis so just keep that angle so that the inside can be seen okay so this is the first obviously it's not perfect yet there are some hard shapes you have to get rid of like this if, if you adjust the ear this shape is very you know kind of organic or like there is a weak curve there so just put that so it's not flat just put that down move all these try to get the piping type effect there we go okay in the next lesson uh, i'll continue refining this and with the back area then eventually we'll move that so that's it for this lesson see you